So now there's Media Center. It's called the, the task bar down here. Uh, I now have quick jumps into content right from the task bar. So I can see TV that I've recently recorded, frequently recorded TV. And then also up here in the start menu, uh, there's, there's the feature of, of having Media Center's icon fly out and show me recorded TV and frequently watch things. This could be, this could be uh, videos, this could be music that I have frequently used, uh, pictures, this is a slideshow that I have. So new ways for you to discover content that you already have gotten uh, going inside of Media Center. But I'm going to show you one other feature, uh, and I talked a little bit about it, which is our homebrew capability. So this is what it looks like when I go into homebrew. If I, if I come into TV shows, right, I, I want shows that I've recorded on this. Well, this might be a PC that I don't have a TV tuner on. This might be my laptop that I just bring back and forth from work. So if I move right over here to shared, you can see the pivot shared is new for Windows 7. And you can see here I've got another PC that happens to be on my home group. So, so these two PCs are connected to the same network and we shared a home group. I just go into that WinHEC, uh, this is the, the PC's name, and here's all of the shows that are available to me on that PC. So if it's Prison Break that I want, I click Prison Break. It allows me to play it, or you can see right here I can just simply make a copy. So using Media Center as my front end, I can just simply say I want to make a copy of that show, and it starts spinning up a copy, transferring across the network, and landing it here on this, on this PC. So, so lots of different ways you can see the progress bar as it goes, you know, as it pulls it across. So I'm going to stop that. <laughs> so lots of different ways for you to interact with different PCs on the network as well. Last thing I'm going to show you, I think I've saved the best for last, is, is new navigation with the finger. And so this is the first time we're showing this feature, and I think it's one of the coolest things that we're doing right now. I'm just using a finger. This is a Dell XT Touch laptop. But using the new multi-touch capabilities inside of Windows 7, you can see I can just drag my finger up and down. And notice the smoothness as I get to a bar, you know, I get the TV. I can whip it across. You see I have a bounce across it. You know, so I've got horizontal and vertical panning that I can do. Uh, I can get to something that I want to see. So if I want to get to the TV guide here, I just touch the guide. I, I tell you, I've been using this for the last week, and we just barely checked this into the new builds. And, and so you obviously don't have this in your 6801 builds, the stuff you guys are taking with you. But you'll see it very soon. And I tell you, I think this is absolutely one of the killer applications for, for Windows Media Center. It just, I mean, if, as you watch as I can do it with the guide here, you know, I can flick through days worth of guide, channels worth of guide. I can stop it anywhere, uh, and I can I can flick through you know multiple time slots. So so just with a finger swipe, you know, I'm moving through days and days. And if I want to stop it at any time, I just put my finger on where I want to stop. I mean, so it's it's all these different new ways to interact with with Media Center with the finger. I think is a significant change to what we've been able to do in the past. So so you know the support for touch to me. I believe there's going to be a resurgence of, of touch as a user experience simply because it's just it's brought such an entertainment value to, you know, an iPhone's done a great job of giving people confidence that they can use their finger to navigate libraries of things. And you can see even in galleries, you know, I can move across galleries and I can I can flip galleries through so I can I can run through like a movies gallery or my albums or anything like that. So lots of new things going on with that. And 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 along with that, let me show you one last part of the touch application that I think is really cool. Uh, inside a recorded TV there, I'll just pick a show to watch, the Travels in Europe, and we'll restart this. So I showed you this clickable seek bar, and this is now the seek bar with, a, with touch. So I can touch anywhere on, on this bar. You can see it jumps to wherever I'm at. But if I click and I drag it, look at the little thumbnail that's down there. So I can see what I'm scanning towards, so if I let up there, you know, it's going to let up exactly where I expect. So I get a little sneak preview of where I seek to. So if I'm on the PC, you know, simple, very simple ways for me to, to be able to interact and to touch television. And obviously with, this is just a, uh, you know, a lightweight PC, so this isn't a, you know, a super high performance PC, but you can still see that the touch capabilities, I mean, look at it as I move slowly across it. You know, even with TV in the background, high def television, I still have all of the same fluidity of the touch interface with the bounce and everything else. So, <laughs> so that's that's my.